Hey guys, just wanted to show you I got some more mail today. I ended up picking up some lights from my cousin and he mailed them out and they just come in today. So I thought I'd show that. And I thought I'd show you around the uh, RC corner here I have. This is where I have all my RCs. Can't really, I'll have to zoom out here. Anyways, so there's my toolbox and my odds and ends box. I just got a bunch of odds and ends and stuff in there. And then we got obviously average Joes. I've got a truck body up there. That's the original RTR body. And this is another truck that I have. I bought that one used. And then in the scale garage here that I've been making the last few weeks. Can't really see in there, it's pretty dark. I do have a skull light in there, like I have three LEDs in there, and hopefully that will start working when I get the that all hooked up. Um I got the bench in there obviously. I got Jason in there doing something. Working on something in there. Well it looks like one of the kids fell on the tires. <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah, I got the Jeep in here. This is the girlfriend's Jeep. We don't have a whole lot of stuff put in the back of it yet. We still have to pick that up. Um, and got all my drawers for all my... Uh, I have tools in here. Pile of tools in here for what it, odds and ends. And then here I have some parts. And some wires. And down the bottom is where I keep my controllers and my video camera. Obviously, the video camera goes in the box there. And then under here we have another truck body that a friend gave me. It was an old body he had. I'm going to turn it into an RV. Or whatever you call it, a camper. Something to do. Keep me busy. Projects on the go that I haven't finished yet. Um, over here we have the... Harley Davidson model that I made a few months ago. And the uh, Cummins racing stock, racing truck. And then we got my helicopter up here. And an old, that's the vintage Summit Stampede, sorry. The vintage Stampede. And that's up there, right there. I got the Nissan 370Z body on it. It goes pretty neat. Anyway, so there's the RC corner. So let's see uh, the light kit we got here. If I can get us down in here. I'll sit us down on the table here. Hopefully you can see me open it. We ended up getting, I can't even remember the name of the light kit that he sent. But we need scissors. Thank God everything's right here. Alright. So there we are. There's the light cat. If you can see it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so I'll be putting that into the Jeep as soon as possible and uh, yeah there's something else that I made that I thought was pretty neat I made it yesterday I saw a post on YouTube or on Facebook sorry a guy used two lighters and made flashing lights for a police car I thought it was pretty neat so I did the same thing so I'm gonna make orange ones tomorrow hopefully so anyways that's my video guys there's the RC corner uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Good big big thanks to Average Joe's for the shirts that he sent to me. I appreciate that big times. I'm also wearing the band shirt if you can see. I don't know if you can see it. But uh, yeah. Have a good day boys. Hey guys. I forgot to show you this light setup that I made up. What I ended up doing was gluing it right in the center there with some crazy glue. And then put some tin foil around it and crazy glued it. And then I drilled a hole through it for the 
screw to go through. And as you see, there's two holes in each one. I was trying to get it right in the center, but couldn't, so I'm going to redo it. And I'm going to put two in the back there, two in the front on each one. So there'll be four lights at each set. So we'll see how that works out. Anyways, have a good day, guys. If you like this video, hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Have a good day, guys. Thank you very much.